Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Susan Love TV from Susan and Family TV. So, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. As for me and my daughter, we are doing super, 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 super great. That is grace. Amen. And we wish the same for you out there. Amen. So, beautiful people, welcome to another entertaining, interesting, inspiring, educative video from Susan Love TV from Susan and Family TV. So, if it's your first time of passing by, thank you for taking your time to pass by our channel, to all our subscribers, to all our viewers, and to the first people, first time of people seeing our channel, we say thank you for taking your time to pass by our channel. And this is not our first channel. We also have our family channel called Susan and Family TV. So please try and click on our family channel, Susan and Family TV. We have a lot of videos. We have cooking videos. We have shopping videos. We also have chit chat videos on that channel also most of the time sometimes we also do chit chat video on our family channel so please try and click on our family channel susan and family tv from susan love tv we are coming from susan and family tv so this is our chit chat video susan love tv so once again welcome to our chit chat video chit chat channel susan love tv so i know you guys are so like excited anxious to know what is today's topic so as you have all like seen and as you have all like been following our channels susan and family tv susan love tv and also our kids tv you know kids adorable tv our kids channel you will notice that we love to like bring out entertaining interesting inspiring you know educative videos that are the big from the beginning to the end that after watching and listening so our videos you will learn something you know so today by god's grace we are also bringing to you another entertaining interesting inspiring video that from the beginning of this video to the end i hope you learn something so today on our chit chat channel susan love tv and our chit chat topic today says some reasons some women some some reasons some women men get more care love attention from their partners does love truly exist so again topic some reasons some women may get more attention love from their partners does love truly exist so if you want to know about this topic and if you want to know if true love really exists if you want to know the reasons some women and some men get more love you know more than other women in relationship in marriages if you want to know why some men get more love care attention you know in their relationship in their marriages more than other men so sit and watch from the beginning to the end so that you will learn something so beautiful people i wrote i think beautiful people what i think are some of the reasons women may get more care love attention from partners are so i'm going to like explaining my own opinion so feel free comment below add your opinion feel free comment below add your comment feel free comment below what you also think about this topic as you will be learning something great from me you know i will also love to learn from you not only me just like every time bringing out topic and topic and topic and topic you guys don't like you know had a comment that is not nice that is not fair it's good for you guys to like had something if we've just like two ways had something for me to know that you guys feel you know or you are enjoying the videos or you are enjoying the topic or if there's any topic also you will also love us to cheat you know to do chit chat on feel free just write it on by god's grace we are going to sit and you know write it out and i'm also going to bring the video because i always love to like anytime i'm having a chit chat i always like to write all i want to bring to you guys because anytime i think of it I know it's meaningful that you will learn something. I just write it down before I bring the video. So when the writing is already like true, I've combined it together. That is when I always bring out the video for you guys to watch. So that from the beginning to the end, it will make sense and make meaningful to someone out there. So again, I say, beautiful people, what I think are the reasons, what I think are some of the reasons women may get more care, love, attention from their partners are one so we women when we have men who treat us like queens we will surely shower our partner with more love 
care and attention. Likewise, to men, when they get women who treat them like kings, the men will shower on their women more love, care, and attention. So we just started. So mostly we single mothers and single fathers out there get mostly we single mothers, single out and fathers get a woman man who shows care consigned for our children. We will surely shower our partner with more love, care, and attention. So what I'm trying to say in this number two is that when we single mothers and single fathers out there, we get a partner who show consign for our kids. We will surely do our best to shower this partner, this kind of a good partner. We shower this partner more love, more care, and more attention. So Thierry says, when we get partners who stands by us, by our children, partner who listens to us, partner who spends time when he or she is less busy, this, when he or she is less busy, the partner will surely get more love and attention, you know, in that relationship. So I wrote respect for, respect says, when men get women who respect them, and we mothers, women get men who respect us, we will surely shower love and attention on our partner. So for says respect, when we get when we when men get women who respect them, and we mothers, women get men who respect us, we will surely shower love, care, and attention on our partner. We are still talking about what are some of the reasons some women may get small love care attention in relationship in marriages from their partners does love truly exist so that is what we are still talking about so five says trust trust there are some many relationship and marriages that the both partners trust themselves that even when people tell them something about their partners they don't listen as long they didn't see their partners doing those things this kind of relationship and marriage the partners showers on each other more love and attention. So C says understanding. Understanding. When there is understanding in relationship, in marriages, partners involved always shower more love and attention on their partners. When you have trust in your relationship, when you have trust in your marriage, when you have understanding in your relationship, when you have understanding in your marriage, when you have respect in your marriage, when you have respect in your relationship, you will surely, you know, shower, shower, you know, more love, care, attention on your partners because why your partner showers you with respect, with trust and understand it so now we come about true love which is also among the title does true love exist so now we are talking about seven says true love i know so many people always say every day there is no true love that is true when you talk about true love to women to girls out there they'll say what is it what is true love is it true love we are going to eat oh i beg let's put true love aside true love doesn't exist so we are going to be talking about does true love really exist so what i know what i feel what i believe i'm going to share with you all so true love seven says true love i know so many people says every day there is no true love because of too much of divorce too much of breakup in relationship because they sees and finds out many relationships or marriages are not for true love because one of the partner partner is is he or she is for is for a selfish interest to me there is still true love which is called summit so now comes the attached of our today's topic does true love really exist so to me beautiful people i always love to be open i always love to share what is in my mind i always love to share what i believe when you listen when you do it you will not regret i always lost love to share what i know is truthful that i believe is truthful to me what i believe so i don't like to like bring out a video to like deceive or fake things you know so to me i said there is still true love that is true and this true love is called soul mate so when you find your soul mate you will begin to realize that there is true love. So until we find our soulmate, we single mothers, uh, we single mothers, and every other single mothers, ladies, pincers, bachelors, single fathers out there, until we find our soulmate, 
you will begin to like you are still in mind is there true love so there is true love so when we find our summit we will begin to realize that there is true love so it says when we mothers we may find our soulmates, we will definitely realize that there that true love truly exists that is true because there is a great difference between true love and fake and forced love so there is fake love there is forced love when you force someone to love you so definitely you are not going to be experiencing all this enjoyment all this care all this love all this attention from that person because why you forced the, the person and when you have fake love in your relationship there is no way you are going to be enjoying all this true love all this uh, uh love all this care all this attention because why the love is fake but when is when you you know when you are with your soulmate when you have a relationship or marriage with your own soulmate you will surely you know experience this true love we are talking about so nice says that is why we see every day hold women hold men still sticks together from their youth loving standing and caring for each other that is the soulmate which is the true love this kind of partner showers more love care attention on their partner that is true anytime my daughter and i we go out every time my daughter and i we see hold people Hold men, hold women, they still hold their self together very tight. When they are going to the supermarket, they hold their self together and they are hold. And this hold um hold men and this hold women, my daughter and I we see sometimes they are like grandparents, they are like great grandparents, even great great grand parents already but they still like stick you know to themselves the man or oh, oh, uh, you know grandfather hold oh, their grandmother you know they stick and hold yourself because why they have loved and cherished yourself right from youth you know so they have been there for themselves they have been standing for themselves they have been loving themselves they have been caring for themselves because why they found their soulmates you know so that is it so now we also continue senses consign you know so when you when we single mothers women make gets we men and women who showers consign on our children we will shower we will shower on our partner more love attention and care to me i'm not talking about money but there are a lot of consign a partner can show to his or her partner to our children that will make us that will make us shower on our partner more love and attention. That is true. Consign also when you like see couples who like shower on their self and love and care and attention. You know, so sometimes these partners you come across that these partners when they make themselves one was like a single mother. Or one was like a single father but because these two partners stick to their self the one who was like a single father a single mother loved the kid the child of the other one you know so they will find out that at the end of it these partners because they show consign for our kids our partners show consign for us so we will surely do our best to shower love to shower care on our partner because when we have a partner who like show consign for our kids you know so we would love to like do our best consign like it's not money money is not everything concern like maybe our kids are going to school they take our kids to school our kids are going for gym our kids are going for sport our kids are going for activities they take our kids you know out they can take our kids to activities you know so all this kind of concern we the single mothers single fathers are there we love to like see this kind of concern in our relationship you know so that will make us to like shower more love you know and more care and attention on our partner doing these great things to our kids you know so let us says time time when partners have time for each other when they are less busy you will see this kind of partners showers more love care and attention on their partners but when you have a partner who only have time for you when he or she needs you for sex or needs money from you then it's going to be difficult for this kind of partners to shower on their partner with love care and attention that is true time there are some relationship you will see that the partner you will see that so many people 
with uh, so many people will tell you, oh, they have a man, they have a woman, they're in relationship, but they will never see their 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 partners, and they say they're in relationship. Their partners, they only see their partners. Their partners only come around them only when their partners needs to sleep with them need sex from them or only when their partner needs money from them so this kind of relationship that your partners doesn't come have time for you the only time your partner has time for you is either it's for sex or it's for money so this kind of partners there is no way when you realize that your partner is there only calling you only when he or she needs sex or needs money from you so there is no way you are going to shower love cares consign attention on this kind of partner so 12 says Taking care of our children. When we mothers, women, men, fathers, our partner takes care of our children, we will surely shower on our partners more love, care, and attention. That is true. Taking care of our kids. We don't have to like... We are talking about relationship, marriages. For we single mothers, we don't need a single fathers out there. We don't need to like think about only ourselves. We need to think about first our kids. So any partner that's coming to our life, if that partner is going to like have attention, like care for our kids, like show concern for our kids, that is going to motivate us if we are going to like accept this kind of a partner. So when we have a partner who show, you know, care, consigned for our kids there is no way that we are not going to shower our partner with more love more care and consign so i also went ahead and wrote i'm not talking about money so i also come again with this money is not everything money is not true love money will not give you all the happiness you need in the world so i'm not talking about money there are many ways partners can show care to our children example we single mothers have partner who takes our children to school, to sports, to activities, and single fathers find partners who bait their kids, who cook for their kids. We will surely shower on our partners more love, more care, attention. That is true. When we single mothers, we the single mothers, we find a partner who is always like, oh, our kids ready. I want to help take our kids to school. I want to help take our kids to the activities. I want to help take our kids to sports. He wants to help take our kids to the gym. We, he wants to help take our kids to the to the to the swim bath. So swimming, you know. So we would like, you know, be like grateful that oh, this kind of partner see exists. So we are going to like we the single mother seeing this kind of amazing partner who cares for our kids. We are going to like do our best to shower more love, more concern, more attention on this kind of a man. Likewise, single fathers, when they come across also single mothers like we come across and, and, sing, and single and mothers or women out there also who bait their kids. Anytime the kids come around, the kids are with their father or the kids bring their kids to us, you know, to our kids also. We bait them, we cook for them, we care for them. So this kind of a man is going to shower more love, attention and care on us, you know. So 13 says, when you are in a relationship in marriage, your partner is responsible, but he or she does, doesn't shower you with much love, care, attention you expected. My, adv my advice is that it's good for you to seek from relationship or marriages that have lasted for years, trying to ask the couple's questions, the secret of their love about attention, the about the about the love about the care and attention they shower on each other you don't need to be shy because home is not built on a day that is true you know sometimes you will come across um a relationship you will come across like marriages you even you sometimes people do say oh uh there are a lot of divorces every day there are locked of broke, uh, broken relationship every day but there are still like thousands and millions of marriages out there who are still standing to today who are still standing till they get hold just like the way i am telling just like the way i said that i and my daughter anytime we go out we must like see hold man and hold woman husband and wife holding their self and when you like ask questions you'll find out that they know their self right from primary school even some right from nursery school right from secondary school university youth they have been sticking to their self because why they have found their soulmate because why they have been there with the true love and the true care so when you come across this kind of um, people relationship 
when you come across this kind of people who are in relationship for years and uh, people who are in marriages for a long time people who are hold in marriage who are hold and they are still with their man and uh, men who are hold still with their woman you don't need to be shy you can just ask oh papa you can just ask oh mama you can just ask oh auntie sir please um uh, I, I admire you I admire uh, your you and your woman I admire your marriage I admire your your home your kids everything I found out that any time I see you let me pause something beautiful people I found out something great about your your home about your marriage about your relationship is there a secret you know to this your like your you and your wife loving and caring and having attention for each other or what is it is there a secret that has you you know you and your woman have been that you and your woman you are still together in old age you know and still loving and caring for each other and still having attention for each other so you will find out that old people who adult and um, um, married people couples they would like to like share their own um feelings what they have been doing in their marriages in their relationship that has been keeping them going loving and caring and having attention from each other so you don't need to be shy you know so if you are in a relationship and uh, you find out that your partner is responsible but what you lack in that relationship is that your partner does not give you the love the care and the attention so i would advise you you can seek from relationship that have lasted for years you can seek from marriages that you see that are ha a happy home that have lasted from years you know for you to know some secrets about them and how you are going to go on or what you are going to do maybe when you hear from them there are some things that you were doing to your partner if you are a man maybe there are some things when you hear from these old people from this uh, people in long relationship maybe there are some things that you begin to realize when they start to speak to you that you have not been doing to your partner that is why your partner has not been showering showering you with enough care attention and love you know so now we are going to go and continue 14 says because i believe when we single mothers women men single fathers find responsible men Women, I believe what we make our partners to shower on us more love on our on our children care and more attention on us depends on our character. That is true. You know, when we are talking about um, some homes get more some relationship, some marriages get more attention, get more love, get more care. You know, in relationship, some women, some men get more love, more care, more attention. In relationship in marriages more than other women in marriages in relationship because of why characters also determines you know so when you come across like uh, a uh, um, when you're in relationship and uh, your partner your partner is responsible so if your partner is going to like shower you with love with care and attention is going to depend on your character. So once your partner is responsible and your character is good enough for your partner, you are going to definitely be enjoying this care, love and attention from your partner partner which is the character which is very important character of individual is very important in every areas in our life in relationship in home in our kids life in our home in everything that character is very very important so 15 says because to me every responsible woman every responsible mothers every responsible women father men already have all these great qualities to shower on our partners more love care attention if our partners also shower on us more love and attention that is true that, like we the single mothers we already know that this are what are good in relationship these are what are not good these are and these are the kind of things we need these are the kind of things we don't need these are the kind of a, a man or father will need for our for our kids for our daughters for our sons for our kids this can these are the kind of uh, fathers men that we will not need you know so when we come across you know as a single mother we come across a responsible man you know so we are going to like do our best to shower our love and our care and our attention on this responsible man but only when we see that this same man also showers on us in return this love care and attention you know so sister says in relationship in resistance in relationship and marriages it takes both partners to make 
the relationship and marriage work. That is true. We are still talking about 15 cents because to me, every responsible mother, we mothers, women, fathers may already have all these great qualities to shower on our partners more love, attention, if our partners also shower on us the same love, care, and attention. So Sistina says, in relationship and marriages, it takes both partners to make the relationship and marriage work forever. But by the time only one partner is putting effort or more effort than the other partner. That is when the partner putting in effort will begin to lose interest. And by so doing, the relationship or marriage can have breakup. That is true. So in relationship or marriage, it takes both partners, not only woman, not only the man. We're the single mothers. When we have, by God's grace, using myself as an example by god's grace god blessed me with a wonderful husband with a good father for my daughter so i know that i am going to like do my best to make the relationship you know build you know to everlasting you know so by by so doing doing my best to make sure that this relationship work out so that is what i would also expect from my partner for him to also do his best to make sure that this relationship of us it works out you know but by the time i'm trying and doing all my effort to make sure that the relationship is to work out but i begin to realize that you know my partner is not putting all that kind of effort that i'm putting in the relationship so i will begin to like lose interest so at the process of losing interest this might lose to like leads to like having a breakup in relationship or this might lead to people who have get who are already married they can have divorce in their marriage because it's like only one person putting effort like when they say i do before you say i do in the common in the marriage also to traditional marriage with parents and all you have already agreed this is what you are going to be doing together which is the i do so by the time you fall in the relationship in the marriage you begin to realize that all this i do you said it's only we the women women that are doing this i do i do i do putting no effort in the relationship in the marriage or only the man will begin to realize that it's only him that is doing this i do i do putting effort making sure that the marriage is not broken but by the time we begin to realize that our partner is not putting effort just the way we are doing so we begin to lose interest you know so by so doing the marriage can have a divorce or the relationship can have a breakup so 17 says but when the both partners shows effort does everything to make sure the relationship and marriage work and last this kind of relationship marriages shower on their partners more love more attention so here is it so when we both partners just like when i have a i have a man now in my life and i and my mom we are putting all effort to make sure that my relationship our relationship works out to make sure that my daughter is happy my daughter is happy in my relationship to make sure that if the man also have kids the man kids also are happy you know our kids are happy with us in our relationship we begin to realize that I being happy and my daughter also happy in the relationship and the man and his kids are happy in the relation in our relationship me and the man will begin to like put more love more care more attention in our relationship in our marriage so thanks for watching hope you learned something from this video from the beginning which is the title of our chisha today it says some reasons some women some men get small love more attention from their partners more than other women and other men does true love truly exist so i also explain true love do exist which is the soulmate so when we get married or have a relationship with our soulmate is that person our god have destined for us so until we come across until we get this soulmate in our life we the single mothers and single fathers are the spinsters bachelors women ladies out there until we get our soulmates you know so you will begin to like realize all oh, true love doesn't exist but by the time 
God blesses us with this, our soulmate, our destined husband, we begin to realize that all that we have been wishing and praying for for years, it will just be like, you know, it's just going that everything will just be happening in our eyes and we will realize that we have found our soulmate. A soulmate that will stand for us, a soulmate that will stand for our kids, a soulmate that will fight for us, a soulmate that will fight for our kids, a soulmate that will do everything for us and our kids. As we, we also do our best for our soulmate and if he also have a kiss, you know. So this kind of people, this kind of, you know, uh, soulmates in our life and this kind of... Um and this kind of uh, relationship that we know that, you know, we are in relationship with a distinct uh, man, we are in relationship with a, a distinct husband, with our soulmate, we will find out that every time we will begin to like shower more love, shower more concern, shower more attention on each other, you know. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned something from this video. True love really exists only when you find your soulmate. So until you find your soulmate, until you get your soulmate, you will begin to realize true love doesn't exist. But I know and I believe true love exists, which is our soulmate. So thanks for watching. See you in our next video by His Grace. And if you have any topic you want us to like, you know, chit chat on it. So feel free, bring the topic by God's grace. You know, we are going to do the video. So thanks for taking your time. Thanks for passing by again. You know, my God, you guys protect and blesses my daughter and I day and night. Amen. We continue to do the same for you and your kids and your family. Amen. So thanks for watching. See you in our next video by His Grace. And please don't, don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is free. And please, when you subscribe, don't forget to press the notification bell. So anytime we upload videos, you will be the first to be noticed. And please follow me on my chit chat, you know, Facebook, um, my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page called Lessons of Life. Through my name on Facebook, Victory Bear, V-I-C-T-O-R-O. V-I-C-T-O-R-O-I-B-E-L-L, Victory Bay, you know, on my Facebook name, Victory Bay, and my Facebook page is called Lessons of Life. You don't need to ask a request. Facebook has made it. You can be a member of my Facebook page. So thanks for watching. See you in our next video by His Grace. Remember Bless from Susan Love TV, from our family, Chinese Susan Family TV, from my daughter and I. We love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a nice day.